everybody Ann here sitting here in front of the chickens having my coffee and uh, well it's been interesting um, some of it has not been so happy but uh, there's some good news coming so yesterday when I had lifted Miss Pris off the nest to get her something to drink because she just looked like she was gonna die there was already one chick hatched and it was in the middle and it was a big big chicken and it didn't look like it was moving I probably should have pulled it off then because I don't think it was alive it, it didn't even come untucked but it's a shame because it was like a brown chicken um, and sure enough uh, today she got off for just a second and that baby chicken died and there were two others and they were all really big baby chicks uh, they didn't make it um, and it looked like it almost looked like they couldn't get fully out of the shell like the shell had gotten stuck and kind of the the membrane was just kind of stuck to them and stuck around their bodies and they just couldn't get out so I looked it up and it looked it, it could be because I don't know uh, humidity maybe that one really super hot day yesterday just uh, dehydrated them too quickly um, and so that that made the, the membrane part of the shell shrink or whatever I don't know I of course blame myself I think that if I had just left her alone things would be fine but today she has two that are completely out um, and they're cute and I'll show you them a little bit later and she's got one that is almost all the way out and it's just got to get the top part of the shell out and then there are like two or three more that are starting to crack open so I'm just gonna leave her be I've got the door to the van closed uh, if the other hens don't get to lay their eggs today or lay out in the forest or do whatever that's fine I'm letting all the chickens free range but I'm finding that Romeo has his group and then Rocky has his group or I think it's a he I think Rocky is a he he acts like it um, but they spend a lot of time in the yard together so that's good so um, I just got some things to do, some things to rearrange, um, and some things to think about, whether or not I'm gonna let Miss Pris brood those chickens and whether or not it would be safe. Because the last thing I want today is for one of those chickens to jump up in that nest when those chickens are trying to come out of their shells and crush them and... So we're just gonna leave that be. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my coffee and think about this and uh, I'll get back with you a little bit later. Look at, this is Papa's favorite place. Can you see him down in there? When I go into the house, he doesn't even want to come in to the front yard with me. He just wants to chill out underneath of this van. If I need to find Papa, more than likely he's underneath this van. Remember these wild roses that I found? Well, the flowers have come off. And those little bulb thingies, those are rose hips, right? When is the best time to harvest these? I'm going to have to look it up. But there's a ton of them. And I know that they have a lot of nutritional value. So I'm going to go around. The, oh, yeah, there's absolute ton of them. I'm glad when Mr. Lucas mowed, he didn't mow these. Yeah, so I'm going to have to research that a little bit. It always calms me when I have a look around at things on my property. So I think I'm going to spend at least a couple of hours doing just that. <laughs>
two, three, four, five. So we've got five hatched out so far that look pretty good. And I've been doing some reading and I think what went wrong is that the eggs became dehydrated. When Miss Pris was off the nest, either by her own choice or by me taking it off, it's like lifting the incubator for a few minutes and the humidity going out. Because what I noticed the last couple of chicks is they had the egg like just stuck to them, you know? Um, and so I think the other ones just didn't make it because the egg <laughs> dried out too fast, the, the yolk or whatever, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just still so hot. So I'm going to let her hatch out the last one, of course. And I think I'm going to leave her back there and um, let her do her thing for as long as she will do it. Because I know that's the best way to do it. So we'll just uh, have to wait and see until the next video how many of them made it through the night and if the last one hatched i mean six out of nine isn't too bad i learned from my mistakes and uh, we'll just move forward anyway that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.